Professor, can you begin with explaining to us the role of renewable energy in ensuring the energy security in India? This, sir, the idea that renewable energy alone can ensure mm -hmm. security of supply to the rural areas, especially to the rural poor, mm -hmm. is very clear to everyone now because the large sized centrally produced electricity, by the time it reaches the villages with the enormous uh, distribution costs and the collection costs, it really goes bigger. Whereas decentralized systems will be managed by them, very often owned by them, either partly or fully, and therefore there is a lot of other expenditure connected with that which is not. So if you calculate the whole thing, that point has been brought out by a number of speakers today. Mm -hmm. I'd like to emphasize that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir, also could you comment on how effective policy advocates such yeah, as yeah, CSC yeah, yeah, yeah. are in influencing policy decisions? But the only agencies that can influence policy decisions taking a proper view of the political economics, as Ajay pointed out, would be the agencies which are well thinking agencies like CSC or um, this um, Gram Vikas and others, or you have to have media which is not uh, driven as it is coming out in the papers by big interest influence, but influential media like Guardian in UK, then they can take up independent guardian and others who take up essentially studies of the kind that you have done but which can reach more people because you write things in the media, in the paper, at least somebody will look, look at that. Therefore, it is an important agency that these organizations like CSE play a very important role in shaping the policies of the government. Okay. So going back to what you were saying earlier about how renewable is being recognized as a way of reaching energy to the rural poor, mm. how do we then plan rural electrification in the future yeah. with renewable energy in the mix? See, this is in a way brought out, you see, they have uh, indicated a number as far as uh, reaching the renewable energy systems to supply electricity to the rural poor. We have to have the technology, the managerial capability, and the financing arrangements. As it was brought out, the technology solutions, especially for lighting, is available. In the case of cooking, we are all working towards a very useful biomass using thing, which will not cost more, and it can substitute with as much of uh, affordable clean energy to the rural poor. Therefore, that is available. But financing, we are finding difficulties. Okay. But innovative fellows like uh, Mr. Joshi, who made a presentation on the Aryavarta Bank. Mm -hmm. I have known him from that time. In fact, uh, his Ashton Award and those things. So he is a person who has really thought about it and how to bring more or less following that, in our own very small organization, which I did, mostly to set up some models for others to follow. By bringing the NABAD into the pocket and winning the confidence of the local regional energy, regional banking manager, mm -hmm. we have brought over 2,000 sets on our own of 30,000 worth of uh, solar electricity systems which gives not only light and fan and also a plug point from which you can draw power either for the for color tv for the either the um, households or some power to run machines which can work towards sewing and giving some energy this we have also encouraged lots of youngsters to take up the same thing, mm -hmm. to be our competitor. Now, in the state, in the district of Anantapur, there are 7,000 
sets have been formed. And our own, I don't think uh, business people, business model builders will uh, ever believe it. From two crores, we went up to 15 crores turnover in one and a half, 18 months. Yes, our, the books are available for changing. We have got a small video on that, mm -hmm. which we will popularize very shortly. Yes.